hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video tutorial I will explain in MVC application how to implement the select to searchable jQuery plugin using PostgreSQL database and here we got the final output notice the header tags after that horizontal and below that the select country India is in Australia USA it's USA. If I want to search for India, see here we got India. And these all data I'm binding from the PostgreSQL database. This is a country table. These are the three country names I have binded in this select to jQuery plugin in MVC using PostgreSQL database. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before creating a new MVC application, first we will check the table in PostgreSQL database. The table name is a country which contains two columns, CID which is a primary key and the C name, country names. Right now in this table contains three rows, India, US and Australia, three country names is available. Now my aim is I want to bind the C name column, the country names into the select to jQuery plugin in MVC application. So let's start the coding part. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new ASP.NET web application project. So I'm selecting the ASP.NET web application template Then click next. After that, I'm giving some project name MVC select to drop down list post and uh, post get database and i want to save this project in d drive this is a folder i want to save this project and the document framework i'm using 4.7.2 then click create after that i'm selecting the mvc template then click create And the project is created successfully. Let me close this default window. Now in this project, first thing, when we are dealing with any database, first we require that necessary DLL libraries in our project. Here I'm using PostgreSQL database. So I require the Postgres DLL library, uh, libraries. So let's check that one. When I expand this references folder, notice there is no any PostgreSQL database DLL library. So let's first install those libraries into our project references folder. Select the references folder, right click the mouse, manage NetJet packages. So after that, switch to the browse and search for npg SQL. And this is the package I'm looking for. Let's select that one and click install. Click OK. And here this package is installed successfully. Notice the green button, which is a download successfully. Let's check in this references folder. See here we got the NPG SQL, the package is installed successfully. Now in the same folder, I'm adding another package, entity framework 6.npg. And this is a package I want to install, select that one and click install. It will take some time to install these packages, so please be patient. It will take some time to install these packages, so please, so please be patient. Click OK and accept the license. And here the package is installed successfully. Notice in the references folder, this is the package. Along with this package, it's installed the entity framework.sql server and entity framework. These three DLL libraries packages are installed. So after installing those two packages, next step, let's close this uh, nudget package, which we don't require anymore. Let's minimize this references folder. First, we'll add one class in this models folder. So select the models folder, right click the mouse, go to add and select class 
and the class name is let's give a class name is country class click add and here we got our country class now in this country class I'm just defining the properties so it's a simple POCO class so first let's add the method key method alt enter when I press alt enter it's suggesting some the components requires using system dot component model dot data animation select that one after that let's create the properties prop double tap the first property for the in your table we have two columns so I'm creating the first property for the CID column so add CID and the second property prop double tap which is a string and the second column name is a C name the property name also C name I'm adding so after that now above this country class I'm adding one table table this table method takes two parameters one is a string name so between double quotes we'll add our the table name which is country copy that one and paste here then the second parameter is a schema schema is equals to this text string parameter so I'm adding double quotes the schema parameter in now database the schemas of the public so let's add the public here public that's it and notice here when when I add this table this component is added automatically now the next step let's open the web.config file to add our connection string first before adding the connection string come to the bottom notice that the providers here npg sql provider these all configuration settings is added automatically when i install those packages i can go to top now to add the connection string make sure add the connection string after the config section connection strings then add name is equals to default connection is my connection string name and the connection string properties here i'm adding the data source here the first one i'm adding the server is equals to the server name of the postgresql database is uh, notice here the postgresql root folder select that one right click the mouse go to properties in the properties there is a connection tab select that one and here in the connection tab you get all the data source properties the connection string properties the first one we require the server name the server name is nothing but the local host which is a host name copy that one and paste here semicolon next parameter we require the port number of our database the port number is 5432 so again copy that one and paste here next we require the database database is equals to the table i have created this country table i have created in the charan database so let's add the database name is charan semicolon user id i is capital here the user id is the postgres which is nothing but the username and the last property is the password is equals to password one two three semicolon then we require the provider name the attribute provider name is npg sql that's it that's it after adding the connection string next we require one application db context class so for that i am adding a new folder to our project select the application name right click the mouse add select new folder db context let's add this folder name is data context data context the folder name is now in this data context i'm adding our application db context class so select the folder name right click the mouse add click class and here we got the class let's select do the class name is application db context click add 
and here we got our application db context class. Now in this application db context class, first I'm inheriting the db context. So colon db context. So db context is belongs to the namespace using system dot data dot entity namespace. After that we need to add the namespace of this country class also. So using my country class is inside this project. So mvc dot models. Now let's add the db context. db context. Then let's create the constructor ctor constructor of this class application db context class base name or connection string colon between double quotes my connection string name is i'm adding my connection string name my connection string name is default connection string let's copy that one and paste here let's create a property called prop double tab it's a virtual property i'm adding db set db set inside this db set the entities we are getting from this country class so add the country class you go you and country class and the property name is country uh, object obj so after db context class next thing we require the new controller so in the project there is a controllers folder i am adding a new controller in this folder so select the controllers right click the mouse add select the controller and i'm selecting mvc for controller empty click add the controller name is country controller and here we got our controller now first in this controller let's add the necessary namespaces first using we require the models class first thing so my project name dot models and using we require the db context calls also the db context the application db context class is inside the data context folder after that here i am defining one uh, constructor ctor constructor in this constructor uh, before that let's call the application db context application db context create object context now here i'm defining um, underscore context is equals to new application db context now after that in the return view i'm calling this context dot this country object dot the country object is this one dot to list method i want to display all the records that's it we have done the coding part now we require the last step the view page so before adding the view page to our application first we build this application build build solution here we got the build succeeded now let's act, select the index method right click the mouse add view the view name is index only and the template here i want to display the list of items all the records so i'm using the list template and the model class here our model class is a country class this is a class i have i'm adding here and the data context class is application db context class let's add that one also click add and here we got the index view page displaying a list items the default page and also it creates a create edit details and delete i don't require this all so i'm deleting this part and this one also the action link create i am also deleting if you notice here in this for each it displaying the records in a label the all the records are displaying in a label now before adding the select to jquery plugin functionality on the select option element first we'll check the basic output how it looks the designing part on the browser 
let's run this application so here we got the records country names india usa and australia in a label let's cancel this one as see, india us and australia now these records i want to display in a drop down list instead of a table so let's format this data i don't require this table and these also i don't require trtds so let's delete those all the table elements and here i'm adding select elements select option the first option i'm adding select country country is a default label so what i'm doing here the selected disabled is equals to true and after that the next option i'm adding in this next option i want to display this data so let's copy this one and paste here after the first option so between these options i'm adding this code that's it now let's check the output again after we adding the select option element i'm restarting the browser see here we got the drop down list it displaying all the country names now my next step is i want to add the jquery select to jquery plugin which is a searchable drop down list so for that first we require the latest jquery plugin latest jquery cdn google and this is the code and from the search results i'm selecting the hosted libraries and notice in this hosted libraries we have the script library the cdn link let's copy that jquery cdn plugin the version i'm using 3.5.1 copy that one and paste here uh, about the index after that first let's stop this browser again switch over to the code oops uh, that one is deleted so let's here you select to jquery uh, cdjns enter and from the search results, I'm selecting this select to cdnjs.com. The select to jQuery plugin is a free open source, so we don't require any license for that. We can use freely. So come to the bottom. The version I'm using 4.0.13. So come to the bottom. First, let's grab this jQuery, copy script tag, and paste here after that we require the css file also again switch over to the browser scroll to top and notice here the css tabs click that one here we got the css link let's copy this link tag and paste here after that i'm adding the uh, script dollar document document dot ready function semicolon now in this ready function i am adding let's add the id is equals to select uh, ddl this is the id of the select element dollar between single quotes when we are adding ids of the html elements we need to prefix with hash hash i'm adding the id dot select to the plugin name that's it 
we have done the complete coding part. Notice when I run this application, the SAC2 jQuery plugin is working or not on this select element. And here we got the output. Notice the select drop down list. It's a simple select option element. It's not adding any select to option jQuery plugin. The reason this layout, this index view page is, let's stop this one, is linked with this layout. So this layout contains all the default styles. So what I'm doing, I don't want this layout. So what I'm adding the layout is equals to null semicolon. Now let's check the new output. Let's run the application. See here we got a new output, the select country, India, US and Australia. So let's add some modification here. Uh, I don't require the select index to. I'm adding center tag. Inside the center tag, I'm adding h1. How to add select to uh, jQuery plugin searchable drop down list. Searchable drop down list. And we see with using using PostgreSQL database. After that, I'm adding horizontal line. Now after the horizontal line, I'm adding this select element, this code here. And uh, let's increase the size of this. The select element style is equals to width with property column. I'm adding 250 pixels. That's it. Let's rerun the rest of the browser. And here we got the final output. Notice the header tags for that horizontal and below that the select country India, US, and Australia. USA it's USA if I want to search for India see here we got India and these all data I'm binding from the PostgreSQL database this is a country table these are the three country names I have binded in this select to jQuery plugin in MVC using PostgreSQL database that's it